The reason I look like this is because I've been sleeping in an airport all night. But the best airport I have ever visited and actually had not a bad night's sleep is Sufar Nuam. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, in Bangkok. So if you need to sleep in an airport, they actually have lounge chairs. I didn't get one. And couches. Get out of here. I mean, okay, I woke up every two hours because there was a TV next to me and the announcements go on non-stop all night long. Um, and hey, I tried to get in one of the lounges, into the super duper lounges, like everybody told me the wrong thing. Like you can go to the Thai Airways lounge. No, you cannot. You have to be priority boarding or golden card. I don't have a golden card. Golden this, I say, to the snotty, arrogant uh, guy who, Thailand is sometimes a little bit more harsh than it needs to be because of the tourism. It's not totally the land of smiles. Let me just say, I have wonderful friends here, and they're wonderful, but they don't live anywhere near Bangkok, so be prepared for that. Um, so here I am having my first cafe latte in Bangkok. I only have two more hours to wait, and then I go to Kathmandu, so yay. Sleeping in airports, I don't feel too bad. <laughs> so if you ever have to, You'll, you'll do okay in Bangkok. One more thing. I was thinking the other day that when I die, it will probably be curled up on a yoga mat in an airport somewhere sleeping. That's what I had in mind. And that seemed to kind of be poetic justice. Now I did want fireworks when the passing over comes, but that could be arranged at the funeral. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and be sure uh, the Burmese, oh, I can't even talk this morning. Well, it is only 5 a.m., not even, and Suvarn Bumi Airport is how you pronounce, that's wrong, I'm sure. Um, the issue on Burma of Vagabond for your iPads is coming. I'm working on it right now. Get ready, iTunes Store and Apple Computer. <laughs> the link is below.